What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, everyday Cody for the guy, you know what it is. We're going to be opening some mails, I'm just going to open the mails today, I'm not going to do a QA. and a I'm going to do the mails and a pocket dump. Um, I'm feeling a bit underneath the weather, and I did an internet search of my symptoms and apparently I've got like three or four days left to live, so I thought, what should I do? Well, I should film a video and get this mail done, right? So, we're going to do it, I just do just want to answer a question about my firearm, guys. I don't know, you know how when you were young, right, you had like these seasons where like you would have like skateboarding season where you'd only skateboard or and then bicycle season and then rollerblade season. It seems like with questions, right, it goes like in seasons. Like sometimes people would ask me about certain gear items, but for some other reason I'm inundated with questions over the past two weeks about the Surefire X300. Now it could be that it's because the turbos just come out, which... Wouldn't make a lot of sense, but guys, I do really EDC the X300, right? And I EDC it while I'm sitting down in most of the time either a Southwest holster, which I'm wearing now, or a Bravo concealment holster with the alias system, which you would have seen in other videos. Um, so yes, I really do EDC it. It's not just for the videos. It is very, very possible. Let's open a package. Strauss and Co. You know... I do like Strauss and Co. The way they package their stuff. He's a classy guy, this Johan Strauss character. Have a look. Strauss and Co. stuff is always packaged awesomely. Like you can never get a sneak peek. I was actually telling Johan, if Osama bin Laden was hiding in one of his packages, no one would ever have found him. Because Strauss and Co. stuff is like packaged solid. Holy Santa Claus shit. Look how awesome that is. Those of you who know, know that I run the Strauss and Co. This is, called the, this is in the crewman. Man, I can't even freaking remember the name. But I run this wallet, but a normal um, leather color now in OD green. Do you know how cool that's going to look in my pictures? Woohoo! That is epically cool. I freaking love this this green, right? Like, how well is that going to go together? Really cool. Huge thanks to Johan Strauss over at Strauss & Co. For always sending me the coolest things. This is officially, definitely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, going to be my EDC wallet because I already love the original version of this. I've got a mess of candle wax on my table because Johan Strauss candle waxes his things together. Thanks for that, Johan. I really, really appreciate it. Next package. Olamp. Olamp Night Tour. That's cool, right? Guys, I do apologize for the background noise. Someone is either mowing their lawn or shaving their dog. I don't know. That's a really cool looking lantern. It's completely dead. USB Type-C rechargeable. That's very cool. I do have another Olight package that unfortunately I can't show you guys because the product did not release in South Africa yet. But as soon as I can show it to you, assuming I live long enough, I will definitely show you guys that. But I really like the look of this lantern. It's a really cool looking thing. It's going to look really nice in my living or bedroom. Huge thanks to Carol over at Olight. I'm sure the O bulb that I also have can go onto that. So huge thanks to Carol for hooking me up with that. Let's open another package. Speras, 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 Speras. How do you pronounce it? Speras, S-P-E-R-A-S. Someone in the comments, please tell me if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Speras? Spiras? Spiras? I don't know. Danke, thank you. For those of you who are international, Danke is the Afrikaans word for thank you from the guys at Gierdo. Hoping I'm saying it correctly, Gierdo. I think I am. I'll leave them linked down below if you want to check them out. But it seems like what we have here 
is the Spiris EST 1900 lumens. 1900 lumens, that is a lot. 1900 lumens for 90 seconds, dimming to 600 for 4 hours. I mean, that's not bad, eh? That's not bad at all. It doesn't look like too big a light. It's actually really cool, eh? Like it's got a strike bezel and everything. And it's this this matte anodized finish and a nice sizable tail cap pattern. Really, this is actually a really cool light. I must be brutally honest, I'm not too familiar with the Spiras, Spiras, Spiras brand. Someone please tell me how to properly pronounce that name. But um, this looks really cool. It's got a really nice knurled finish and it's like this matte, matte black type situation. Nice, very nice. This is actually something really interesting. I will definitely be reviewing this on the channel. Huge thanks to the guys over at Gierdo for hooking me up with my first Spiras, Spiras flashlight. Guys, um, like I said, I do have one or two more packages from Olight that unfortunately I can't open because they aren't, or I can't show because it's not been released in South Africa just yet. As soon as I can show it, I absolutely will show it. Should I open it and start testing it so that for the first time I show it, I can give you an opinion? Or should I open it on the channel like I do? This kind of thing. Leave it down below and um, or leave a comment down below on what you think I should do and I will do it that way. Let's do the pocket dump and then um, we can end off. And if I do end up not making it in the next three or four days, someone will have to take over this channel. So yeah. Okay. I don't know how much you can see, but... Flashlight is the Cloud Defense MCH, mission configurable handheld. Um, left rear pocket is my Leatherman Scully tool. Um, belt, as always, I don't know if you can see, is Core Essentials, Firearm, Glock 19, Olesen Red Dot, um, Shofi X300 TR1 trigger upgrade in a South West Holsters Rattler. And then the knife I've been using to open this gear is the Civivi Brigand. Guys, not too long a video this week um, because like I said, I'm not feeling so great. But hopefully by the weekend I'm, I'm back to my normal self and we'll do our normal um, EDC gear review. I, I quite like this flashlight, eh? Like, it feels really cool in the hand. I do really like, I mean, I wonder what this costs. I'll have to check what it costs. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really cool feeling flashlight. It feels really nice. It's got this smooth, like, matte finish. It's very cool. I quite like it. Um, so, hopefully I'm back to my normal self on the weekend, guys. And remember, if you do like uh, EDC gear things, I do an EDC gear related review every single weekend. So I'll see you on the weekend for a review. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.